if there's one thing that we can all agree on, is that if we didn't have bad teammates, then we'd all be grand champ, right? Just look at this replay. He flicks it past one and then completely outplays the goalie. But unfortunately, there's that teammate I was talking about. Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? Oh my God. <laughs> the thing with Rocket League is that it's so much easier to look at other people's mistakes instead of your own. I mean, look at me, I'm trying to help others improve when I could clearly use some improvement myself. The truth of it is that we all make mistakes every single game. It doesn't matter what rank you are, you will still make mistakes. The only difference is some players make more mistakes than others, hence why we are the rank that we are. Yeah, you might not be that player that blocks a teammate when he's just about to score an open goal, but I'm sure there's plenty of mistakes that you make every game that you don't even realise. Put it this way, if you watched a replay of yourself playing a year ago, how many times would you be saying to yourself, oh, I can't believe I did that? Well now think if you watched a replay in a year's time of yourself playing now, how many mistakes were you making? Now this game is a solo standard champ 1 game. Let's look at the rotation. No chat has rotated forward to take the shot. Now modulus should be rotating back. Never rotate back across the middle of the field unless it's absolutely necessary. Modulus now has a second opportunity to rotate back to goal, as he is still the last person on his team to interact with the ball, so he should have the most boost. But instead of heading back to goal, he decides to challenge for a ball that he's never going to win. Once Modulus is taken out of the play, no chat is left in a 2v1. Not only did the fouled rotation hurt his team, challenging for the ball also stopped no chat from going for it. This is a mistake that 90% of players make. How many times a game do you do it? Now this whole situation could have been avoided if Modulus had rotated the first time round. One thing players do at the majority of ranks is they rush the ball. So I want to look at something the top players utilise all the time. And that is just predicting what the other team is going to do with the ball and waiting for them to pass to you. In this replay I just decide to wait because I noticed the opposition player coming in and the only option he has is to hit the ball off the wall. By predicting this hit I can now wait for the ball and then break away. Top players know that lower ranked players are just going to give up the ball to them, so they just wait and then punish them. But this obviously works both ways, so don't be the player passing the ball to the other team. The best players are those that know how to control the speed of the game. Yes, you have to be fast in everything you do to rank up, but you also have to know when to slow things down. Well that's all the tips for this episode guys, but make sure you look out for the next one. If you enjoyed this video then make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, ding the bell, and until next time.